Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So far we have completed seven problems on assignment. Now in this video, eighth problem I'm going to explain. Last video I have explained you the problem where it is of maximization type. When the problem is of maximization type, we have to convert it into minimization type. And then only we can follow the algorithm of uh, assignment problems. So if the problem is of maximization, how to convert it into minimization already I have explained in the last video. In this video again, similar type of problem. It will not be specified in the problem whether it is maximized or minimized. We have to identify. Suppose if production, sales, profit is given, we have to maximize. Suppose if the cost is given or uh, distance is given, time is given, we have to minimize. In, the, in that way, we can be able to understand whether the problem is of maximization or minimization time. Now, eighth problem. Before starting that, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Now, eighth problem. A methods engineer wants to assign four new methods to three centers. First time, a new point. There are four methods and three centers. That means the matrix is four by three. But for solving the assignment problem, we need a balanced problem. Balanced means number of rows, number of columns must be equal. It is unbalanced. Then the assignment of the new method will increase production and they are given below. Production is there. So we have to increase the production, maximization. If only one method can be assigned to work once a work center, determine the optimum assignment. In the rows, methods are given one, two, three, four. And the columns production is given work centers A, B and C. First of all, we have to convert this uh, problem of maximization into minimization by calculating opportunity loss table. So how to find out opportunity loss? Here we can see the problem is to increase the production. So it is a maximization. We convert into minimization by calculating opportun opportunity loss elements. So how to find out that? Take the highest element in the complete matrix. From that highest element, subtract all other elements. So here in our problem, the maximum element is 12. So subtract all other elements from 12. Example, 12 minus 10 is 2. Here. Then 12 minus 8 is 4. 12 minus 7 is 5. 12 minus 10 is 2. Like that we have deducted all the values from the highest element 12. That matrix will be called opportunity loss matrix. By solving this opportunity loss matrix as a minimization problem, we can get the optimum assignment for maximization problem also. Once we get the op I mean assignment schedule of minimization, the same schedule is applicable for maximization also. So we have converted. The problem it is given production, maximization. We have converted the production into opportunity loss matrix. Now the problem is unbalanced because we have four rows and only three columns. So we must have four rows and four columns balanced. How to make balance? One column is less. So we make one dummy column. So four rows then four columns. So A, B, C are original columns. One more column, dummy column will make with zero elements. Here, work center, all the values, two, five, four, whatever is given here, the same, apart from the dummy column we have made, right? Now we can start as usual. The first step is row subtraction. Subtracting the smallest element in each row from the corresponding element of that row. The first row minimum is zero. So subtracting 0, we'll get the same values. So 2, 5, 4, 0. Second column, again minimum 0, same values. Third row, minimum 0. Fourth row, minimum 0. So when 0 is subtracted, we'll get the same values. So this is the first step completed. Second step, subtracting the smallest element in each column from the corresponding element of that column. And after that, drawing minimum number of horizontal and vertical lines so as to cover up all the zeros. Now here, first column. The first column minimum is 2. So subtract 2. 2 minus 2, 0. 
4 minus 2 is 2, then 5 minus 2 is 3, 2 minus 2 is 0. Next one, minimum is 0, so same values will get 5, 3, 0, 2, 5, 3, 0, 2. Third column minimum is 4, so subtract 4, 4 minus 4, 0, then 5 minus 4, 1, 6 minus 4, 2, uh, then 4 minus 4, 0. Last column all zeros. So we are taking all the values are zeros. That's all. So after making this column subtraction, now we have to draw minimum number of horizontal and vertical lines so as to cover up all the zeros. Minimum number of lines. So in one line we can cover up all the four zeros. So we can draw one line like this which covers all the zeros. Now remaining you can see two zeros in the column, two zeros in the column. Agar rows may be taking one zero, two rows, uh, two zeros, two zeros. So maximum two zeros we can cover up in a single line, either horizontally or vertically, any way you can draw. So what I'm drawing is, this is horizontal two zeros, this is horizontal two zeros. That's all. Only one zero is left. We can cover up either by horizontally or vertically, any way you can draw. So this line. So totally how many lines? 1, 2, 3, 4, number of lines 4. Order of the matrix is also 4, 4 by 4. Since the number of lines are equal, since the number of lines are equal to the order of matrix, so optimum solution is reached. Optimum solution is reached. The optimum assignments are optimum assignments are now we have to find out the optimum set. Take the same values 0, 2, 3, 0, 0, 2, 3, 0. Second 5, 3, 0, 2, 5, 3, 0. 0, 1, 2, 0. 0, 1, 2, 0. Last all zeros. Now check any row with only one zero. That should be assigned first. So here second row we are having only one zero. So assign this zero and cancel all other zeros in that column. Right? Any other row having one zero? Yes. Third row we have one zero. So assign this one zero, cancel the other zeros in that column and row. That's it. Right. right. Next. Any other row having one zero? No. Here we have two zeros. Here also we have two zeros. Right. So arbitrarily. When we, whenever we arbitrarily assign, then alternative solution will also be there. So first we assign this one zero. This one is assigned. So cancel the other zero here and column also here. Lastly, one zero is left in the fourth row. This is the assignment. All the zeros are either assigned or cancelled. No other left out zero is there. Our optimum solution is reached. Now optimum assignment 1 to A. Then 2 to dummy. 3 to B. And 4 to C. That's all. So we have taken all the values. Now increase in production 1 to A is 10, increase in production is 10, original problem you see, 2 to dummy, dummy is 0, then 3 to B, 3 to B is 12, and 4 to C, 4 to C is 8, so 12 plus 8, 20, 30, 30 is the maximum increase in production, first solution completed. Now alternative solution because we have assigned arbitrarily one time. So that we will reverse, that will change. Same value is equal to alternative solution 0, 2, 3, 0, 5, 3, 0, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0 and all zeros. Same elements we have taken. Now we have to make the assignment. Any row having a single zero, yes. Second row we have one zero. Assign this zero and cancel the other zeros in that column. 
Any other row having one zero? Yes, third row we have one zero. Assign this zero and cancel other zeros. No other zeros in the row and column. Now we have two zeros in the first row, two zeros in the last row. Earlier, what we have assigned? Uh, first A we have assigned. First A we have assigned. Now we are not going to assign A. Now for we are ass assigning first to C. We are changing our assignment. So first to C. If we assign this, cancel this zero and cancel this zero. Row zero and column zero should be cancelled. Now only one zero is left here A. That's all. This is a second alternative assignment, multiple optimum solution. Now first to C. Earlier it was first to A, then second to dummy, second to dummy, third to B, and fourth to A. Now see the original problem and take the increase in production. First to C, it is 8, dummy 0. 3 to B, 12, and 4 to A, 10. So here 12 plus 8, 20, 20 plus 1, 30. We got the same solution, increase in fraction 30, here also increase in fraction 30. Two solutions we have. In the first solution, 1 to A, here 1 to C. Second, 2 to dummy, same. 3 to B, here also 3 to B. But 4 to C was there in the first solution, now 4 to A. But the total will remain same. So in this problem, two new points. First is unbalanced problem, how we have made balanced. Secondly, it is a production problem. So increasing or maximizing problem. So we have converted it into minimization and then solve the problem. Finally, we got the optimum assignment. So this is the end of eighth problem. Two more problems are left. Inshallah, we will continue in the next video.